Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to film a Q&A video. Um, for those of you who are following me on Instagram, I've asked you to pose questions for me for uh, this video. I haven't done a Q&A in ages, so here we go. There are very, very many questions, so I'll probably have to split this in two, but let's start. Just Hades asks, how the fuck do I find more alternative people I have yet to see any around my area of dwelling, lol. Um, well, through the internet, for example, just um, look up goth clubs or like concerts. If you like music, um, go to concerts where you think that like-minded people might show up. I don't know, or maybe you have a, a shop, a goth shop or a record store or something there where you can um, meet people, maybe. Or like Instagram or Facebook or... I really started to have goth friends when I was um, working at the goth shop so and there we also met a lot of people who were just customers but now are friends because they came there often and you know talked to us so maybe that's a place to start he also asks what are you yeah, what are you passionate about um, I'm really passionate about music um, I really like different kinds of music but I really love to go to concerts and to festivals and to just listen to music everywhere and all the time so I'd say I'm passionate about music probably although I don't really make music myself but listening to it and he also asks um, if you could have a theme song what would it be and why theme song as in it plays when you walk into a room um, I had a theme song at our um, graduation party which was which was the new shit by Marilyn Manson <laughs> which is um, great for walking into a room um, but I don't know a theme song I'd say that depends on the mood if I walk into a room and feel really depressed and down it would have been something else well you really asked a lot of questions um, thank you <laughs> um, if you were to compare yourself to a killer in a horror movie who would you be and why um, I don't really watch horror movies because I'm scared of them so I don't know and then final question by Just Hades is How long does it take you to get ready every day? Um, I get up two or two and a half hours before I have to leave the house every day um, Usually um, That includes makeup Outfit Taking pictures of the outfit Having breakfast and everything So if you mean getting ready that includes everything um, Then like two hours maybe But if it's only for makeup or like dressing myself then it's 30 to 45 minutes maybe kai decadence asks coke or pepsi um i'd rather have some independent kind of coke i don't want to sound too i don't know but <laughs> i really like fritz cola if i had to choose between coke and pepsi um it depends on if you want to mix it with something or not if i just want to drink coke or pepsi then i would probably drink Pepsi, but if I wanted to mix it with something, then probably Coke. Do you play any video games? No, I don't. Um, I'm bad at kind of things that need too much attention coming back to that sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't really watch a lot of series too for that reason. If I, I'm usually, I don't, I only watch one series at a time. I can't start too many shows because I, I won't come back to it, so I don't really, yeah. Con J Cosby asked, what are you looking forward to in life and why? Well, right now I'm looking forward to the festival season. <laughs> Twisted Horror Fan asks, Lila Chris, do you plan on getting any more tattoos or piercings? If so, what are you going to get? Yes, um, I plan on getting a lot more tattoos um, and I also plan on getting more piercings. I want to get more piercings in my ears. I um, Right now I only have like lobes and a little bit of stretched things going on but I want to get a little bit more creative around there I really don't know what kind of piercing yet but yeah and I also plan on getting more tattoos um, but yeah Nightmare Senpai asks Wie kann ich meinen Eltern beibringen, dass ich gerne ein Gothic wäre? Ich weiß nicht, wie ich das ausdrücken soll Und wie hast du das gemacht? Haben deine Eltern irgendwas dazu gesagt? No, I didn't really talk to them about being goth or being a gothic or whatever. 
um, I just slowly transitioned into it and I guess they slowly got used to it. But if they're worried about, you know, you going into a dark subculture or anything, then just talk to them about it, that it's not something dangerous or something bad, it's just your preferences. But usually it works if you just not shock them too much with going completely goth from one day to the next. If you just slowly transition into it, they will probably get used to it, I think. It worked with me. My parents don't really mention it anymore. Also with the tattoo and piercing thing. At first they were like very much against it. I think they're against it still, but they just don't mention it anymore. But I'm 27 now, so... Um, Nightmare Senpai also asks, wie groß bist du eigentlich? 1,68. Guckst du gern Serien, wenn ja welche? As I said before, I really don't watch too many shows at once because I can't continue with something I started. I'm really bad at that. But right now we're watching One Piece and I really like it. We're also going to watch Game of Thrones again if it comes up. And one of my all-time favorite series or shows is uh, The O.C. It really is. Hathaway Crystal asks, what's your favorite place to shop online? I really like these kinds of places where you can shop secondhand or trade with others or swap things. So like eBay or in Germany it's Kleiderkreise or maybe you find something. I don't know, I don't really have anything else, but there are places like I think Depop or, you know, I really like these places because you can get a bargain and it's and I also think it's great to reuse clothes and not like throw them away if you don't wear them anymore you can just give them to someone who will appreciate them moonhair27 asks hello lovely hi lovely <laughs> um what are your favorite hobbies or interests well my favorite hobby i guess is music again i love to go to concerts as i said so i spend a lot of time and money on going to shows and um, going to festivals and also buying records and it's also a hobby that I share with my boyfriend so that's very nice we do that together a lot some of your favorite books you've read oh. <clears throat> yeah I really recommend everything by Kazuo Ishiguro I really loved his books um, especially Never Let Me Go is very very touching and, but I also really like um, gothic novels. I'm, right now I'm reading The Turn of the Screw. Um, anything spooky that is not too horrifying to me because I'm, you know, always afraid of things. But yeah, I really like gothic novels too, as I said in multiple videos before. But otherwise go for Ishiguro. Um, Trinity9575 asks, what's your earliest memory? Um, that would be one, it's not a clear picture, but when I was about, I think I was three and I was um, with my parents at my family's place in Florida. I mean, we're Germans, but we have family in Florida and we visited them and there's a picture of me in their house garden, kind of in my head that I now know has to be there, but it's not something that I know from pictures or video or anything and I later I realized that it has to be there but it, it's not a clear picture but yeah I, I would be about three I think H Hedera I don't know asked have you got a favorite flowers um, I really like lavender if that counts as a flower I really like to smell it and I really like the look and the color of it um yeah lavender maybe mitsu zero i don't know how you pronounce this how long does it take you to do your makeup as i said about 30 minutes maybe and what are your favorite clothing items and where did you get them uh, favorite clothing items i really like long flowy floaty cardigans i have a lot of them <laughs> i'm not wearing one right now but i usually do put one on um my most recent long jacket cardigan thing is in the punk rave video, the spiderweb one. Yeah, I love these long cardigan jackets, but also sometimes shorter ones. I just, I always wear one, usually if it's, yeah, usually. So um, most of them are really just from like H&M or New Yorker or something. 
but the more elegant, the more elaborate ones. Um, I got the one from Punk Rave, as I said, and I also got one that I got from eBay, which is a very long coat kind of cardigan thing. But I also got the knitted cardigan vest thing you see on all of my pictures <laughs> from H&M. So this kinds of, these kinds of cardigans are really my favorite, favorite kinds of clothing, I think. Nocturnal Blaze asks, best concerts you've been to and what bands do you wish to see live in the future? So best concerts I've been to would be last, I think it was last Tuesday. Yeah, last Tuesday we seen Gojira and it was my fourth time seeing Gojira, but it was the best time because the other times I've seen them at festivals, so they play shorter um, gigs and yeah, we saw them solo with a solo gig. Um, in Hamburg last week and that was very good. I mean, I enjoyed myself very much. I'm <laughs> at concerts, I'm really like a head-banging dancing person if it's the right kind of music for that. So I enjoyed myself very much at that. But um, the other two really um, good shows that I remember in my head were the Depeche Mode concert I think it was 2013 in Hamburg and also 2012 the Twins of Evil Rob Zombie Marilyn Manson show in Bochum yeah I really really like that and they really stand out in my memory what bands do you wish to see live in the future um I really have seen a lot of the bands that I always wanted to see now for example The Cure which was also very very awesome uh, last summer or autumn last October, I think. <laughs> well, I want to go and see more like goth bands, really, because I go to a lot of metal shows and a lot of like stoner rock, blues rock, psychedelic, witchy kind of shows because a lot of my friends like those bands. And then, you know, I love to go to concerts with friends. So, and I also like that music, but I really don't have too many friends who go to goth bands. Um, Raven Noctis asks, Bist du auf dem Wege Tee? Um, I, I would really love to go, but right now it doesn't look like I will be able to. Not only financially, but well, life is difficult right now. Maybe spontaneously, but I don't think I will. Um, I will really work on going to the Mera Luna though. I want to, so. Jana M. Mosa asks, Was sind deine top Lieblingsbands? Um, my all-time favorite bands are like I always say Marilyn Manson, Placebo, Nine Inch Nails, Depeche Mode, Him, and more recently my favorite band is Gojira. Mrs. Teapot asks, what's your favorite food or meal? I really like Indian or Pakistani food. I also love sushi and um, at home what's like easy to make um, I really like uh, just a Thai curry MIW Nina, ni, uh, Nima also asks what's your favorite food so I answered that right now Sabrina Gehring asks was machst du beruflich yeah that's a difficult question right now um, I love to say I'm a youtuber but I'm not earning enough to support myself just from YouTube by the way if you like to you can send me a tip through PayPal I, the link is down below but you don't have to it's just if you have a buck or two to spare like I said in the other video um, you know if a thousand people watch this video and everyone would give a buck you know um, yeah Right now I'm just doing the YouTube thing and I also um, always do a little bit of voluntary work for my dance classes but I'm really doing nothing that gives me a lot of money right now. I'm looking um, for a job in the social media business and I've applied to several and I've also been to several job interviews but it's just never worked right now. So yeah, I'm on the lookout for a job in the social media business. Rachel Shade asks, what's your favorite joke and favorite love song? Oh, joke, I'm <laughs> I'm not good at this. Especially in English, I don't know any English jokes, I think. What really gets me laughing is more of like spontaneous situations that are funny. So I don't really, I can't tell you a joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> and my favorite love song, 
One that pops in my mind right now is Empty With You by The Used, which you probably won't like because it's from my emo days, but I really like that song. Cosmic Squid Queen asks, what movies do you get the most inspiration from fashion-wise? Well, movies that have like impressed me uh, fashion-wise would be Bram Stoker's Dracula, um, Moulin Rouge, Perfume, Sweeney Todd, and Interview with a Vampire, and Sleepy Hollow. And to end this first part of this Q&A, um, because it's really getting too long right now and I don't want to uh, produce like hour long videos, my boyfriend who is called Matteo423 on Instagram asks see oder finger and I won't answer this. Thank you very much for watching and watch out for the second part of this Q&A and um, see you in another video. Bye!